first when you close my door is you'll see my DIY shoji door or Japanese traditional door. I painted this for almost five hours and I really wanted to achieve this. That's why I put so much effort in it. And finally, this is what it looks like. It's perfectly imperfect from afar. And beside this is this Japanese lantern that I bought in Asakusa, Japan. I put it here to give more Japanese vibes with this shoji door as well as to cover this light switch that slowly turns to yellow already. And beside it too is this bamboo sticks with fake leaves. We bought this already years ago and actually the price is still here. This is from Unitop and its price is... 29.75 pesos each stick and as you can see I have these sakura like fake flowers which is from Unitop 2 and its price is 65 pesos I stick it to this silver lining fern plant from my mom's garden and I'm not sure if this is indoor plant but so far, it has adapted in my room. Its name is Fernando. Yes, it's a boy. Above my door is only a wall clock that apparently it's not working and I have no plans to change its battery. And this wall fan that the blades were originally blue but I painted it to be light brown just to blend in with the theme of the room. Then on my previous blank wall, I DIY this shelf and clothing rack. On this shelf, I just have this random light, but its body has light wood since my theme is light wood and white. The next is this picture frame that was originally pink but painted it light wood or light beige too, similar to my wall fan. And this line art is from Pinterest. Then next, oh my gosh. The next is this small plant from Daiso Japan here in Philippines. And I just DIY'd with eyelashes, blush, and small lips. So cute. I have here a small snake plant. And her name is Sally. So everyone... Meet Sally! <laughs> Moving on to the left are these three Pantone colors which I just got from Google and I got this from this inspiration. This showcases my love for art even though I'm not that creative. More on this shelf is this white plastic cactus base. This is from Unitop 2 and it is 52 pesos. And then this vintage camera, Yashika, and this is from Japan. According to my dad, this is his first ever camera in his whole life. And I decided to display it here to show my love for photography. Then beside this is these two plants. This is a fat cactus. And her name is Kaki. As well as this circle flowy plant. I don't know what this plant is really called but I call her Farah since it's a flowy plant to cover this bamboo here and the bracket. Then moving on is this DIY clothing rack. This bamboo is from our neighbor so it's for free and with my help of my dad we attach it here down the shelf. I also decided to have a clothing rack here to show my love for fashion and styling as well as to cover that wire from my wall fan. And apparently above my shelf is this DIY macrame. This is just only for 100 pesos and I just wanted to add there to use that screw there that used to be the 
hang for my solar fan as well as to give these bohemian vibes that is somehow related to my white and light brown theme. Then down the clothing rack is this Japanese collection of mine. These are all really brought from Japan except for this milk tea bottle that I just bought locally in supermarket store. But this milk tea is from Japan, the product itself, and this is my favorite milk tea of all milk teas in the world. Behind it is these dried leaves from Japan and down is this Daiso Japan Japanese poles. Just put here my dumb things like pine cone, camera, ring holder, and some other stuffs. And top it with these chopsticks from Asakusa, Japan. But this is from my Japanese friend. Then beside is these cup noodles from Cup Noodles Factory in Japan. We really went inside the factory and customized this with Gudetama and its expiration date is March 2, 2019 but I haven't eaten it so I just displayed it here. Then beside is this fan with the famous painting of Japanese and this picture frame stand is just from my mom but I borrowed it just to stand this fan as well as to cover somehow these sockets and more are these t-shirt from Asakusa Japan a robe from Daiso Japan there then stop it with these wood alphabet stamps this case or box is for that lantern I just added it here then this shoji that is really a Japanese architecture or style as well as this small figurine of a Japanese doll I got this in Daiso Japan too I also added these two pens this one is from Japan from Muji and this one is from my Japanese friend when he came here in Philippines he's the one who also gave me these chopsticks then down my bench are some of my shoes and these are my most worn shoes my heels, white shoes, um, athletic shoes, black shoes or vans, and sandals some of my shoes are under my bed because somehow because I also have that little sneaker head in myself then on the other end of the bench is just this small palmera plant I got it from my mom's garden too and it gives this homey vibes or tropical vibes as well as to cover the other switch which is for the veranda then next is this mirror that used to be here but I stick it here to my door since I don't want to see mirror or glasses before I go to sleep that's me picking true <laughs> and I use these for skincare makeup and just to pick through through my outfit and there's so much more to see that's why hopefully you're still there and watch until the end this door leads to the veranda which i seldomly only go out and on the doorknob i have this brown rosary just to keep me safe from all dangers and spirits in the room then on my bedside table i already have this skincare pouch and makeup pouch that I really place them in pouch so that whenever we go out far, I just get them and it's good to go. I also have here my remote for my wall fan and I just added this light wood tray from my mom's kitchen just to add that light wood element here in the room. Then here I added DIY plant coaster 
if you haven't watched my room makeover, I did this DIY and I'll link it here in the cards, in the description box below, and at the end of the video. On the plant coaster, I added this cactus. This is Calista because it's a cactus. Just to add that aesthetic look here in this skincare corner. Above it is this line arts from Pinterest. And if you search Korean bedroom in Pinterest and YouTube videos, you'll see they have these pictures taped on the wall so i love this so much it gives so much korean vibes actually my room is half this diagonally and on this side this is more on japanese style and on the other side are more on korean styles then beside the tree or basket i have this gooseneck phone stand which I use whenever I watch movies or Netflix when I'm already on my bed. Then moving to the left are these three fake succulents or cactus. Beside is this mason jar and this is from my high school classmate Zoe. Then for my windows, I just have these Korean blinds in light wood design and there's nothing special about it but it gives this warm glow in my room. Then leading to the corner, I have this socket with USB ports. And actually, this bedside table, or I don't know what it's called, but me and my dad DIY'd this a year ago already from this inspiration. Then on the corner, I have my black ukulele and my BTS Army Bomb version 2 my mushroom then this alarm clock stopwatch temperature and timer from andrea my high school friend too and as you can see there's no battery and this small moon night light and this has three shades of glow here in the room it has warm cool and white i got this only from shopee and it's such a good purchase because at night, this is what gives my room the warm glow. On the corner too, I have these wood lights from my brother from Thailand. And I just hung these black planters from Daiso Japan here in Philippines. Then down the corner of the two windows is this bed. This used to be queen size bed but change it to sofa bed. This gave a big difference here in the room since my room is only small and changing to sofa bed makes more space in the room. On my bed, I just have these white sheets so that it somehow blends to the walls of my room and it looks smaller. Then my pillows, these are what I made to be accent here. I have these two pillows and my hot dog pillow. Then I have here my fleece blanket. Beside my bed, I have this wood pallet from my mom's garden as well as this snake plant. This snake plant is named Prezi since snake plant serves as air pollutant and helps you sleep better at night. Then beside it is already my work desk. Under my chair, there are my unopened packages, my trash bin, and a bag full of scratch papers. On my work desk, I have here my black tumbler from Marian. She also gave me this white container where I put all my stationary pens, Muji pens, Mac pen from Japan, Sharpies, brush pen, multicolored pen from Korea, scissors, highlighters, feather, ruler, fan, and light bulb for my lamp. Then I have here my Gorilla Pod, notebook of cactus design from Shopee, Japanese calligraphy when I went to Japan. This is written by Sawako. I have my laptop case and some important files for college. I also have here fake plant from Zoe. 
Then, since it's a plant, I added my plant coaster. Here, I also have my cactus light. This is also from Daiso Japan here in Philippines. At the back, I have this bamboo mat, but I used it as background here in my work desk. And I got it from Daiso Japan too. This also covers my socket. It's over there. And at the back is my white grid. Here in my white grid, this is my inspiration wall. I have here pictures of BTS, family, friends, line art of Nike Air Max from Pinterest, my international flight, boarding pass, Bluetooth speaker, not my inspiration but it's there, AirPods, my glasses and Sony's, and my lamp from Shopee. And beside my work desk is this huge, huge cabinet. This is where I put all my clothes and other room decors, my skincare. Nothing has changed in this cabinet. I just painted my handles white and placed this golden photos plant above my cabinet to have this flowy plant. And since it is a photos plant, I named him Paul. Yes, that's Paul. And since I changed the sofa bed, I have this space already here. And I just added this table, which is Korean styling, if you will see in Pinterest too. On the table, I just have here my MacBook, phone, and other decorations like this cinnamon candle, my zebra plant, this is Zaina, then this, my DIY test tube planter, and I added this photos plant too. Or which is Paola. This is Paola and that is Paul. And I have here a white vase from Unitop 2. Its price is 42 pesos and I just added this broom or walistambo but it's clean and this random weed in Philippines or wish wish then at the other side of my cabinet i moved here my bag hanger which used to be here but i placed it here so that it's less cluttered here are just some of my bags my tote bag belt bag handbag body bag and my robe down is just my laundry basket and a hard hat which is for safety purposes according to my dad then at the center of the room, yes, it's really at the center, I have this DIY light cover. It's made of twine and I just hang here to cover the light. And that's it for my room tour this 2020. This is my cozy, minimal, aesthetic Japanese Korean room. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos in this room, please do subscribe and hit the bell as well as follow me in my Instagram account. All the links are in the description box below. So check it out. And please comment down on which part of the room or decor you like the most. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.